Okay, this video is going to look at the fundamentals of databases. So this is a, a little bit of an introduction into what a database is and some key terminology that is essential that you learn. So a database is said to be a structured collection of data that's organized into tables, fields, and records. We could say it's a persistent store of data. So if you ever think about any way that you store data on computers, as long as that is organized, then you could say that this is a database. We sometimes talk about databases as being flat file databases, and this means that all your data is stored in a single data table. Much of the coding that we may have done so far has used uh, CSV files to load data from a file, such as high scores, um, or in terms of data records from, um, let's take a book, uh, book's author, the book title. Uh, this could be as a single file, um, often known as flat file. Sometimes you can represent data in an Excel spreadsheet where each row is a record and each column is what we call a field. So here is an example of a flat file database. Now flat file database, we can see each row is a different record and each column is a field. Now this is a snippet of an order form for uh, Mia's sandwich shop, which you may be familiar with. And we can see there that when Mary Morris placed their order, um, we've had to write her details on every single line. What I'd like you to do is just pause the video and just think for a moment, what are the potential problems that we've got with a flat file database? When you've written a couple of these down, then restart the video. Okay, so some potential problems could be what we call data inconsistency. What if when we're writing one the street down, accidentally we spelt street wrong in this one, so the data becomes inconsistent. Could be difficult to maintain. Uh, what if somebody moved house or wanted to change their order for somewhere else, would have to change every single row. Um, you've got the details of the different sandwiches and we can still see here someone has spelt baguettes wrong um, so we've got this data inconsistency difficult to maintain it can be inefficient uh, so we've got a lot of potential problems in summary the disadvantages are data inconsistency data redundancy inefficiency difficult to maintain and it's a program data dependence one way around this is to create a relational database and this will help reduce all of those so that we're not storing lots of the same items of data and we're not going to run into inconsistency issues or redundancy issues and it'll be much easier to maintain. So a relational database is one in which tables are related data and they have relationships between them. It's a collection of two or more linked tables and we use what's called primary and foreign keys in order to link them tables. I've used a lot of key words so far. We've used table, we talked about entity, attribute, primary and foreign keys and records. So we're going to look at what each of those mean. So with regards to relational database, what is a table? A table is something of interest that we store data about, also known as an entity. Examples of tables that we may have are customer, stock, book, student, dog, class, course, teacher. Something that we may want to store data about. In terms of this table, this is an employer table, or employee table. And we've got the employee number, their names, their ages, the department they work in and the salary. We could say this is an employee entity as well. Each row is a record and each column is a field or an attribute. Tables, entities, they consist of attributes. We can see from this table back here there are one, two, three, four, five attributes. Attributes also known as fields. Relationships can exist between entities as well. Let's take these entities here. We've got a customer entity. 
or a table. This could contain all the data associated with a customer, their name, their address, their telephone number. We've got a movie table or a movie entity. This could contain all the data related to a movie, the genre, the classification, the title of the movie. And we could have a download table. And this could create a relationship between this could create a relationship between the customer and the movie table. Um, so this download table could contain data from both the customer and the movie to indicate which customer downloaded which movie. And that's what we talk about as being the relationship. An attribute then is a characteristic or a piece of information about an entity. And this will be stored as a field in a database. Going back to our table we looked at here, these are our attributes. Employee number, their name, their age, their department and their salary. Example attributes here, first name, date of birth, stock ID, date. So it's a single piece of information about an entity, a single piece of data, an attribute, a single item of interest relating to that entity. A record is a collection of fields and attributes about one particular entry in the table. For example, let's take Mia. There's a sandwich shop and one of the tables was customer table. A record could contain Bob Jones, 123 The Street, Brick and Brat Builders. We have a telephone number of 01234 567 89. And that could be the record. So it's all of the attributes that relate to one particular entry in a table. Let's look back at this table. Here is a record employee number, their name, their age, the department, and their salary. A database management system. This is a particular type of software that allows definition, creation and maintenance of a database. One of the most common DBMSs that we use is Access. Databases can be created out of files, out of CFSV files, can be created out of record structures within BB, but we can use a DBMS that allows us to define the database, create it and maintain it. It provides that control. If we think in terms of access, we can have tables, queries, forms, reports. There are additional features of a DBMS. The purpose of separating data into tables that can be related is that we end up with a relational database. We talked about movies, customers and downloads. So instead of having it all on one single table, we can have several separate tables, several separate entities, that will be interlinked and this means that we have no data inconsistency we don't need to store each customer's details once each movie's details once we'd have to use something known as primary and foreign keys in order to link tables together but we'll look at that very shortly the advantages they're efficient they're easy to maintain sorry I should say easy data is not dependent on the program, they're efficient. Possible entries and attributes then, entities and attributes. Looking at our customer movie and download, we could have a customer ID, their first name, their surname, telephone number, address line one, town, postcode, we could go on. These are the attributes, that is the entity and table. Here is the entity and table, movie, and these are the attributes. There is the entity, these are the attributes. How can we link these together then? How do we know what customer downloaded what movie on what date at what price? This is where we bring in our primary keys. This field here is a primary key. It uniquely identifies a customer in the customer table. This uniquely identifies the movie. At the moment we don't have anything that uniquely identifies download. 
in order to link these tables together we could put the customer ID in the download table this would say this particular customer is downloading on this date at this price we would also put the movie ID in this table this then creates a link so we're actually saying if this customer is customer 1 Bob Jones and the movie is movie 1 the title Harry Potter a particular year then we could say customer 1 movie 1 on a particular date at a certain price and that would link the tables together these are known as primary keys primary keys uniquely identify a table in this case they would be foreign keys foreign keys are attributes in one table that are unique identifiers in another so they uniquely identify records in other tables and that is how relational databases work a primary key then, an attribute that uniquely identifies a record in a table. Staff code, ISBN number, barcode number, stock ID, order number, product code. These could all be unique identifiers. Foreign key, an attribute in a table that is a unique identifier, primary key, in another table. This is used to link the two tables together. So here we have it that is uh, an introduction to databases there's a lot of key terms in there so the recommendation is to review this several times until you are clear on what those definitions mean and you're able to explain those definitions and rewrite them in terms of exams they do look for specific key wording what is meant by a primary key what is a foreign key which of these is a key field and why what would be a suitable key field? How would you interlink or relate these tables together? Thanks for watching everybody.